Next, coming up to the stage, he is the host of the Black Nerd Power Comedy Podcast and also the Black Nerd Power Show. Give it up for one of the best in Memphis, Mr. Richard Douglas Jones. Hello. As he said, my name is Richard, and I'm going to tell you all a few things about myself. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that I am a good person. Uh, I realize this because I've decided that I'm going to seek out racist people, and I'm going to spray them in the face with water like you do a cat. <laughs> and when I do, I'm going to look at them, and I'm going to say, no! <laughs> Bad racist! No! And I'm gonna make a TV show out of it, and I'm gonna call it, uh, I'm gonna call it How to Train Your Grand Dragon. Um, I still, I still can't believe that we live in a world where Donald Trump could be the president of the United States. Like, I still, like, here, like, my trust of white people is at an all-time low. <laughs> Because you all swear that you didn't vote for him. Like, all of you are like, I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for him. Somebody voted for him. <laughs> he won. Methinks thou dost protest too much. I just, like, I'm trying to find nice things to say about a Trump presidency. And, like, the best I can come up with is, like, when Trump gets elected, I cannot wait to root for my district in the Hunger Games. Like, that's... That's about the best I got, like, because that's all I'm doing is rooting. I'm not volunteering for a damn thing. Uh, if, if for no other reason, uh, it's because I am too old to learn archery. Um, <laughs> like, I don't trust Trump's hair. Like, how do you have a comb over and a comb forward at the same <laughs> damn time? Like, I just imagine the day he gets sworn in, it's like, congratulations, President Trump. That wig of his pops up and says, Neo-humans! <laughs> And we're all enslaved to the wig people. It's just, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm ready. Whoever wins, I'm just ready for it to be over because it's an election year and I hate election years. Like, the reason I hate election years is because of, like, all of the people that get on the news, like, the political pundits. I can't stand those. Like, there's always that one guy and he's just like, well, you know, Diane, the... The problem here uh, in this election cycle is clearly the economy, and uh, the people that are hit hardest by the economy are urban people who live in, and like, he doesn't quite say urban, like, he, like, the people hit hardest by the economy are urban people <laughs> who live in urban, like, he starts talking about black people like they're some sort of far-off tribe, like, it, like, if you were to watch, like, National Geographic, instead of talking about, like, you know, some far-off tribe in South America, they're talking about black people. You turn it on, it's... Hello and good evening! My name is Sir Reginald Holofalum, and welcome to Explorer. This evening, we will be discussing the life and time of the Negroes Africanus Americus or American Negro. The Negroes Africanus Americus is easily distinguished by his darkly colored skin, tight yet low-hanging pantaloons, and his affinity for all things fried. A particular delicacy in his community is one known as Flaming Hot Cheetos. Here we have two males of the species greeting each other for the first time. Oh, 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 note how their hands interlock effortlessly. <laughs> this is a greeting ritual known as the giving of the dap. Let's watch now, shall we? Hey, bro, what's up? Hey, what's up, fool? Fascinating! Next, we will observe the mating ritual of the Negroes Africanus Americus. Here we have three males of the species practicing a loitering ritual known as posting up. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, 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 the female approaches. Let's watch. Hey, hey, girl, hey, girl, hey, 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 girl, what's your name? Hey, hey, light skin, hey. 
Get you then, bitch. Fascinating. Now, to the casual observer, it would appear that this is the ending of the ritual, but oh, no, 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 no. This is merely the first step in an intricate dance that is peppered by the purchasing of various sundries and a beautification ritual known as getting your hair did. Let us fast forward several weeks. The male has now lured the female into his domicile, or, or crib, if you will. Well, actually, it's not his crib. It's a room in his mother's basement, but... Using a rhythmic aphrodisiac by the brothers Isley, the male will now attempt to copulate with the female, or hit it, if you will. Let's watch now, shall we? Shh, be quiet, girl. Don't wake up my mama. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Hang on, hang on. Hang, hang. Huh? What? What'd you say, mama? D d the music was too loud. You right. I'm sorry. Okay. Nah. What am I? Nah. You don't have to come down here. I'm just relaxed. I'm just relaxing. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry. You right. I did forget to take out the trash. I'm sorry. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Love you too. Okay. But see, girl, I told you you was making too much noise. Now be still. I, I, uh, you got to go. Fascinating! <laughs> Join us next week as we continue our studies of the Negroes Africanus Americus and we shift our focus to this subject and his name is Calvin. And we're going to help Calvin look for a job. Did somebody say McDonald's? Thank you for watching. This has been Explorer. I am Sir Reginald Holholm. Thank you and good night. Thank you guys. Richard Douglas Jones, everybody. <laughs>